YouTube. Um, I just wanted to do a quick little tutorial on how to change the text colors and everything. So uh, let's get started. So what I have here is a script uh, that creates a new message saying hello Twitch. Uh, but you might notice it looks a little bit different than the regular. And that's because I was able to change it. Uh, so what you're going to do is go to File, Settings. Then if you go over here, to, it'll be up here for Studio. You're just going to scroll down until you see Script Editor Colors. Um, so this is what you're primarily going to change. The first thing that you're changing uh, is your background color. I made it dark so it's a little bit easier on my eyes. Uh, but that's all up to you. And then next we have the comment color, which this is a comment. Uh, you gotta put two dashes in front of it and that'll make it a comment which won't, the script won't see it, but you will. Uh, the next is an error color, so uh, that's not uh, in that's not seen as to Lua as the same as us, so uh, it it doesn't make sense uh, to the computer. Next, we have is keywords. Uh, the all the keywords is if else. Else if for while break next not true false then and function local or and do and those are just your uh, those are just your keyword colors next you have the numbers so one through nine there uh, you can change those I you can change these by the way by just clicking on the color and then go and selecting go and select them what I would recommend doing though is usually they have it down here because the background color is white and so I just slide it up a little bit to make that lighter and the background darker uh, next you have uh, we don't have to worry about the preprocessor selection background or that one Oh wait, I skipped one. I skipped the operator. So the operators are the ones uh, that you will use for like the ifs. Um, you will you will use the you will use the keyword color. You will use the keywords along with these operators. Um, so one example would be you would say if something equals uh, something um, then then uh, then your code and then you'd use end another one is the function local is used for variables um, so this is a concentration I believe um, which we'll get into that later. That's yeah, we'll get into this later. And then the next one is the string color, which um pretty much uh you use this for the if it's related to the workspace. So if you're finding something you have to put everything in the string. Um pretty much and then the text color is just this text right here like the red so if we make this lighter if we want this to be a little bit lighter then we can do that or darker um, I like this comments to be pretty bright but not like as bright as that because that's kind of weird um, another thing you can change is the auto saving interval so you'll see in the output a lot 
it's just auto saving when you're working on stuff. Uh, this the script editor part uh, is a big thing also. So you can change the font. So right now I have it at um, that, but I can do like I can do rage italic. I'll do that one. I'll do this one. And then, so that'll, uh, that will change it. I'd recommend just uh, whatever you like. Um, I mean, you can even program in wingdings if you want. I want to. Oh, that's webdings. I wouldn't recommend that. But. You can do that, you can adjust the, if it's bold or not, you can do that, and then you can adjust the size also. Uh, along with that, you can do, you can adjust the text wrapping, so if it'll text wrap or not. So as you see, this will run off the page right here, and now it won't. Um, so yeah, that's all I have for today. Uh, another thing is you can change this top part to the old Roblox Studio 2013. You can do that. Um, yeah, I wouldn't really change anything else. So, I just stick in here. So yeah, that's all I have for today. And I'll see you guys later.